May 24, 2010 is the day that GM killed off the Hummer brand in an effort of cost-cutting and reorganization. The plan was during the GM Chapter 11 bankruptcy program and was to sell off brands and, and an undisclosed buyer, later identified as Sichuan Tianjong Heavy Industries Machinery, was established. However, the sale never went through and the deal collapsed, and GM was still stuck with the brand. Fast forward to 2019 and rumors were running through the pipeline that we may see a revival in the Hummer name, just no clear path as to what it was going to be. On January 30th, 2020, GM released a series of short videos revealing the return of the Hummer in the form of an electric SUV and truck models marketed under the GMC brand. The Hummer EV SUT was officially revealed on October 20th, 2020 during the 2020 World Series. The Hummer EV SUV was unveiled during the NCAA Tournament Final Four and on April 3rd, 2021. The new Hummer EV, while a 100% battery electric vehicle, is still a purpose-built off-road capable machine with extreme off-road capabilities and still retains the identifiable Hummer visual appeal. Features include adaptive four-corner air suspension with extract mode, which raises the vehicle 5.8 inches above normal ride height, quadrasteer, quadrasteer four-wheel steering with crab walk mode, and no less than 18 cameras mounted in various points along the vehicle for increased on off-road visibility and position confirmation. In addition, the Hummer EV features a completely flat undercarriage with full width and steel full width and length steel skid plates. Our Hummer EV was produced at the Hamtramck Factory Zero plant in Detroit, Michigan in August of 2023. Hey everyone, Josh here from Neighborhood Car Reviews and here I am with the brand new 2023 GMC Hummer EV. What's really great about this Hummer is this is actually an edition one, so it's a launch edition vehicle. It is painted in interstellar white and it is a two-tone vehicle with the gloss black metallic. It features a very cool Lunar Horizon interior it is a light gray and jet black, two-tone, uh, not really leatherette and definitely not leather interior. It is more like a um, ActiveX type of material. As you can see here, this is the pickup version of it. It does come in two body styles, the SUV and the pickup. And of course, that's what we have here. Now, this is a very expensive vehicle. The full pricing is shown on screen and it's full options listed in the description box below. I will point out one thing. Hobson GM is letting me uh, borrow this vehicle. However, the dealer installed accessory, meaning the running boards, have yet to be installed. Um, they're kind of waiting on me right now. So I really appreciate their uh, patience and their hospitality for letting me uh, film this vehicle. I didn't actually think I was gonna be able to get one and well, here we are with an edition one. So very, very exciting. This is a full in-depth review. We're going to go over everything from the exterior to the interior, powertrain, off-road capabilities, and so much more. Of course, the GMC Hummer is four-wheel drive. However, due to the electric powertrain, there are no transfer cases or anything like that. Instead, it utilizes the onboard computers and electric motors to create a sort of virtual four-wheel drive system. What we have is an ultra-capable vehicle with a completely flat undercarriage, completely protected by skid plates. We also have terrain mode select, which calls out the requisite four-wheel drive modes and virtual front and rear axle lockers. In addition, we also have the extremely capable quadrasteer four-wheel steering with crab walk, 30-degree diagonal driving mode, and the automatic adaptive air suspension, which could lift the Hummer to an incredible 15.9-inch ground clearance with the extract mode. Power comes from not one, not two, but three permanent magnet AC synchronous electric motors. Two motors drive the rear wheels, while the other single motor takes care of the front wheels. Combined output of these motors is 1,000 horsepower and a combined torque output of 1,200 pound-feet of torque. The Hummer utilizes a GM Ultium LG Kim supplied liquid cool lithium ion 205 kilowatt hour battery pack with a nickel cobalt manganese aluminum battery chemistry produced by LG Energy Solutions. 
Battery packs consist of two layers with 12 modules wired in series per layer and utilizes a 11.5 kilowatt onboard, onboard charger. The Hummer can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a scant 3.3 seconds, which is quick considering that this 9,640 pound curb weight. And that being said, the Hummer has a gross vehicle weight rating of 10,550 pounds and can haul a maximum payload of 1,261 pounds and tow a maximum trailer weight of 7,500 pounds. Not that impressive considering the power outputs, but it's a heavy vehicle and electric motors and batteries can only do so much. The GMC Hummer is a 100% electric and features a 205 kilowatt hour battery capacity and it consumes 63 kilowatt hours per 100 miles driven with an estimated total driving range of 314 miles. EPA fuel economy equivalent figures are 59 miles per gallon E in the city, 48 miles per gallon E on the highway, and a combined average of 53 miles per gallon E. The sole available transmission is not a transmission, but rather a single speed drive mode selector with direct drive. It is actuated by a rather commonplace shift lever that looks right at home in the Hummer. It works in conjunction with the driver's selectable drive modes and features low gear select. All right, walking around the rear of the Hummer, as you can see, it does have GM's multi-pro tailgate. It is a very noisy day today on the highway. But as you can see, you do have the Hummer logo back there, the EV and the GMC badge, and we'll go over the multi-pro tailgate. Alrighty, around the rear of the Hummer EV, especially in the pickup truck form, love the way this vehicle looks, especially in the interstellar white. It has the gloss black accents, which really amplifies how the lighting looks, and we'll go over that. Just a real quick look does have the four removable transparent roof panels. You have this upper sail panel here. That does have a couple of cameras back here and you also have your three marker lights. It does have the little buttress here that comes all the way down, protecting the bed liner. And before we go over to the tailgate, I just noticed this little American flag insignia here. I didn't even notice that before, but there it is. Nice little touch. Coming all the way down into this really nice metallic black accent here you have these absolutely stunning tail lights here crystal clear elements they do have some laser etching in here of course you can see the hummer ev logo there you do also have this metallic accent here in the middle but as you can see basically floats in space looks really really good of course you have that same metallic accent on the fender flares there is your battery charge area there Coming around the rear, it does have the multi-pro tailgate, of course. You do have your camera here. We have multiple uh, ports here for trailer towing and wiring. You got your receiver hitch here, license plate lighting here. As we walk along the profile of the vehicle, now this vehicle does have the uh, air suspension and does have a special mode called extract mode and it actually raises the vehicle 5.9 inches above its normal ride height. Right now, believe it or not, it's an entry exit mode. So uh, this, this vehicle is very, very tall. Um, without the running boards, it is very interesting to get in and out. On screen, I do have the on-screen dimensions or the vehicle dimensions. As you can see, it's a very large vehicle. It is also a very heavy vehicle, just shy of 10,000 pounds. Steering, of course, is electrically assisted vehicle speed sensitive variable rate rack and pinion with GM's quadra steer four wheel steering, which can be deactivated and also used when equipped to crab walk out of tough off road situations. Crab walk allows a 30 degree diagonal driving range and is utilized in extract mode as well. We have 3.5 turns lock to lock and a tight 44.3 foot turning radius. Wheels are 18 by 9 inch black painted aluminum wheels with machine finish accents and the tires are massive 93 inch or the tires are massive 33 inch LT30570 R18 Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires. Brakes of course are power assisted four wheel disc brakes and they are equipped with ABS, electronic brake force distribution and a whole host of other safety features. Alrighty, walking around the front, we're going to go over the front in more detail, especially with the lighting. But as you can see, it does very look, very much look like a Hummer. It does have the seven slot grill, even though an EV does not require a grill. And of course it does have three wipers.
All righty, around the front, there is absolutely no mistaking what this vehicle is. Even if you've never seen a Hummer before, you almost instantly recognize it as being something that's very off-road uh, ready. Everything about this vehicle is just big, bulky, very squared off, even with the mirrors here. You do have the Hummer EV logo here. Of course, you have your wheel flares there. This huge hood detail is very bulky. You got your marker lights up at the top. And of course, much like the Toyota FJ Cruiser, low, long windshield requires three wipers. Moving down to the lighting, the lighting is very dramatic up here. Of course, black uh, bezels. You have these really nice laser etched elements in here, almost like a light pipe design where they actually catch the light. You have your Hummer logo in, etched in the uh, plastic here. This would normally be a white running light, but in this case right now, it's the turn indicator. Your headlamps are actually down here in the bumper. And of course, illuminating it in the center is the seven slot grill, very traditional to the Hummer. And of course, also the Jeep. And of course, you also have the EV there, but just a very nice touch. It says Hummer right there. You do have lower air intakes parking sensors, you have your front camera, the beefiest tow recovery hooks I've ever seen, and very small and almost out of the way, the GMC badge. Just to indicate this is built by GMC, and Hummer is now a, a uh, model name. All right, now this vehicle, of course, with the price point, it comes standard with remote start, which is a bit of a misnomer. It's actually more of a remote conditioning. It operates the exact same way as any other GM vehicle. Lock the door and double press your remote start button. Basically what it does, it just preconditions the interior using the battery power, turns on the climate controls, sets up the uh, user interface and all that kind of stuff. All right, now before we get inside, let's take a quick look at the key fob. It is a traditional GMC key in the fact that it looks just like a GMC smart key has a GMC logo here in black, not in red. And it is molded into the plastic body, but you have the Hummer EV logo, it has some chrome, and you've already seen the buttons on the front, but we'll go over these in detail. Lock, unlock, remote start slash remote conditioning, your tailgate release, your power e-trunk front trunk release, and your panic alarm. Now, this vehicle is also equipped with the smart key access system. By keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle doors. To lock the vehicle, simply locate this chrome button here on the door. That will lock the vehicle. As you can see here, if you would like to unlock the vehicle, simply press that button again. Now note here, before we get inside, I love this, pillarless doors, front and rear. Alrighty, inside, Lunar Horizon. It is an active X material on the dash, door panels, and the seats. And of course, you also have this really cool bronze touch here. Not to be outdone, you do have the transparent blue roof panels. Those are all four removable and they do harken back to the old C4 Corvettes. Let's take a quick look at the door panels. I really like the detail on here. The light gray looks really, really nice. It's like a, a kind of a meshy material. It's soft touch. It blends well with this black. You do have this black accent stitching that goes all the way across. And I don't know what GMC is calling this, but it's like this burnished bronze color. It looks absolutely phenomenal. And I think it's meant to kind of portray, and we'll kind of go over this in detail, but it's meant to portray the foil heat shields, the gold foil heat shields. That was found on the Lunar Rover. Um, there's a lot of hints to the Lunar Rover here, like the neural uh, texture right here feels really good. Uh, a lot of hints to the Lunar Rover because GM was actually a, a developer of the Lunar Roving vehicle during the Apollo era. Boeing built it, but GM designed it. Hummer EV embossed in the door uh, material. More of that satin bronze uh, color there. Satin silver door poles, two driver memory, easy exit, your set button, lock and unlock of course. Power mirror controls, power window lockouts, mirror fold, power windows, basically everything you'd expect. Down here, not much in the way of storage, but you do have some bottle holders. Now the speaker grills. The speaker grills are actually a lunar topography map, and that is uh, Neil Armstrong, Armstrong's boot print right there 
Um, so very, very cool uh, look at that. It's a very nice detail. You do also have kind of the Hummer tread plate here. All right, on the driver's side instrument panel, more of that nice, really burnished bronze. It houses the driver, or this air vent here. It's a very large air vent. And down here, we do have our parking brake, electronic parking brake, power front trunk, power lift gate. This is our lane departure warning system, global window down, cargo lights, and our charge conditioning. This is our instrument panel brightness and dim. Down here, of course, we've only got two pedals because this vehicle has no transmission, it is all direct drive. And we do also have a power tilt and telescoping steering column, and it actually does program with the driver memory. Moving down here, we do have an eight-way power driver seat with an adjustable lumbar support in four directions. And let's take a quick look at those seats. These seats are very comfortable. They are very supportive. They are also very far apart. But as you can see, the headrest does have a perforated material here. It is height adjustable. And then you have that lunar horizon here, the light gray, and you have the black here, bisected by this Hummer EV uh, bronze badge here. More of that perforated insert in the center there. But overall, the seats are just very comfortable, very supportive. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the interior. All righty, now that we're inside, let's pan through the interior. We're gonna show more details here. The electrically assisted power steering does feature GM's Blue Cruise system. So you, or uh, Super Cruise, I'm sorry. So you do have the, the sensor and the meter right here in the steering wheel. Here you have your, uh, your battery, um, oh, I can't think of the term there. I'll probably pop it up on the screen once it comes to me. Anyway, this little meter right, or this little thing right here actually, uh, watches your eyes and make sure you're paying attention to the road while you have Super Cruise activated. Now, just a standard steering wheel. It is a little bit beefier than a GMC steering wheel, but you can kind of tell where it comes from. Over here, we have multifunction controls that, uh, control our ultrasonic, par uh, cruise control here for, so this is our distance for collision warning distance selector uh the super cruise activation standard cruise controls over here over here on the right hand side we have voice command bluetooth controls phone controls and our trip menu controls which are going to go over down here in the bottom we have the eight uh, the hummer ev logo here and of course it says hummer right here in the center over here on the left our control stock does control automatic headlamps we have also got auto high beam assist and of course, our directionals and our high beams. Over on the right hand side is our wiper washer control. Staring straight ahead of us is a 12.3 inch uh, display screen for the driver. It is a very uh, legible, very easy to read user interface. It does have a lunar topography map here. This is our compass. This is our battery state of charge. Right now we're at about 78%. We have 260 miles of range remaining. Over here, this is actually our power meter, how much power we're using. And our gear selector here, the vehicle only has four miles. And of course, we're not moving, so we're going zero miles per hour. Over here, this is actually a reconfigurable display screen, and that is activated by this button here, this quadrant of buttons. So you can actually select up and down for driver assistance, off-road, and then you can go left and right to select different sub-menus. And then you can just kind of go through all of your different um, menus there. You can even have it as blank, just if you don't want anything at you. Um, page information options, drive summary, trip one, two, of course. The timer, which I don't know who uses that. Uh, tire pressure, um, it's not showing anything because I'm actually not moving, so the, the readings are kind of off. Driver assistance, of course, and then our off-road. Alrighty. I like the assist handle up here. This is really handy because this vehicle is very uh, difficult to get in and out of um, because it is so tall, but that really does help and it feels very solid. Now moving over the top of the dash, as you can see that uh, light gray blends really nicely into the black. The hole there shows your radar distance for your forward collision warning system. Huge front speaker grill, and of course the dash continues all the way across the width of the vehicle and it, and it ends in that burnished bronze accent on the air vent over there over on the passenger side it does have an addition one badge and of course up the top it says ev or hummer ev there 
And here we are in the center with this very large 13 inch plus touchscreen display. Um, and this is GM's uh, inter entertainment con or entertainment system. And it actually is very, very good, very responsive. It does use Google, so Google is very well integrated into this. This is the trailering profile here. Here is our off-road pages, basically. We have our drift angle. We have our heading right here, uh, altitude, drive modes. Here we have pitch and roll. We have our suspension travel mode here. When our air suspension is in the higher modes, you can see your uh, distance there. Here we have our tires, and we have our steering angle. So if you start turning the steering... Now this vehicle does have four wheel steering so you can see both wheels turn at in real time. It'll also show you that your front and rear axles are locked or unlocked. And then you have different modes here. A lot of this stuff I am actually learning as we go. Um, next page shows our inclinometer heading and our altitude. Axle torque and our ride mode. Right now we're in normal. It can go all the way up to extract, which is 5.9 inches above normal ride height. Now if we go down here, you can air down. Um, while the vehicle's turned on, you can actually air down your tires automatically. And then we have auxiliary switches as well. Camera views. So our camera views are very handy for tight uh, areas here. And you can actually adjust them around too. It's pretty cool. All right, the rest of it is all phone controls, map controls, music controls, and your home screen here. Now, by placing the vehicle in reverse, of course, as one would be expected because it is legally required, we do have a 360-degree uh, surround view camera, and of course we have a backup camera. Everything has active guidance lines. Everything. So, front camera, rear camera, you have your trailer backup camera there, your, front and, your left and right wheel cameras there, right and front, your tow hitch camera, just everything. All right, moving down. There's a lot in this vehicle. I'm sorry, it's taken forever, but here we go. This is our climate controls here. We just, we have the, uh, this is actually kind of a neat little system here. So we you can sync your AC, you can turn AC on and off, turn your heat on and off, panel distribution here, and these buttons actually dynamically change. So when you do your heated seat here, you can actually select heat or ventilation, which is actually really cool. This is your climate controls here, up and down for your temperature, and of course your fan speed, and it has a very cool animation on the fan speed there. You can select recirculate, or fresh air, automatic, max front and rear defrosters, passenger side controls for their seats, and their climate control. Down here we have our heated steering wheel control, our rear axle lock, our four, or both axle locks there, four way uh, flashers there, stability control, parking sense power switch, and our side parkers. Um, this is for uh, parallel perpendicular parking assist. Air vents are down here. Power button is here. Trailer brake control is here. And your, um, yeah, your trailer brake control is there. Nice flat center console. Opens up to reveal wireless charging. USB type A and type C. Over here we have cup holders. Transmission selector lever. Drive mode select with our suspension settings. And our crab walk and four wheel steering selector. Nice, humongous, wide center console, like this little storage mat here. Opens up to reveal a nice amount of storage. You do have a screen cleaning cloth here. This removes out to reveal additional storage down below. It is illuminated, and you have a 12-volt power point in here as well. So there you go. That's the front seat of the Hummer. There is a ton in here. It is very feature packed, very well loaded, very uh, well equipped. Now overhead, we do have a three channel home link universal garage door opener, overhead LED map lights, OnStar controls here. This is our max view release uh, portals here. This is our dome override switch. 
our rear window slider. This is our digital rear view mirror. It actually does not auto dim, it is a camera where you can actually select your brightness and all that kind of stuff. Airbag indicator. And of course we have narrow sun visors and the vehicle, they're about a mile away right now. But as you can see, they are illuminated and they do swing out and they slide out on extension rails. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat now. Opening up the rear doors. And it does reveal seating for three across back here. As you can see, it is a 60-40 split folding seat back here. The seat backs themselves are not split folding. It is the seat bottom cushions. But as you can see, they do retain that same two-tone treatment. And of course, you could fold down the center armrest. It does reveal some cup holders back here. And of course, back here, you do have your overhead lighting, the transparent roof panels, uh, more uh, door panel detailing, just like the front. You do have those assist handles up there and the uh, B pillars there. And back here, we do have our own individual climate controls for the rear seats. It is a three zone climate control, so you can actually select panel distribution just as you would up front. You also have three stage heated seats on the outboard seats, automatic mode there. Your positional air vents are here. USB type A and type C, storage port there. And down here is a household style 120 volt uh, outlet. All weather floor mats, got more of the lunar, um, the lunar grill there. Seat back mat pockets here. And of course, if you wanna lift the seats up, you do have your tire inflation kit down here. And you have additional storage here. It's all molded within your floor mat here, so nothing goes astray. Pretty nice. Really quick look at the door panel here. Reveals that same uh, nice uh, material. That burnished bronze there. Bottle holders here. Window switch here. Some storage in the door panel. And a better look at that speaker grill. Ah, one thing I did not show. I forgot all about this. You have hidden storage in your seats. On both sides. Nice little, you can hold a laptop, a iPad, or whatever in there. All right, let's talk bed now. Of course, it is a pickup truck, but it has about a five foot bed, maybe a little bit smaller. And first and foremost, we're gonna open this part up first. Now this part here just opens up to reveal a small portion of the tailgate and you can actually lift this section up here so if you have long items and you don't want to open the tailgate fully uh, this can act as a tailgate wall as a bed extender essentially and you can have it extend out now another nice thing is when you open the tailgate you can either press the, the uh, button here you can also press the button inside the uh, cab itself or we're just gonna double press the uh, key fob button here. Now it automatically will come down, but it will not raise. You'll have to actually manually raise that. And as you can see, within the bed itself, it's actually very nice. It does have a uh, full spray and bed liner. It also has LED illumination back here as well. You've also got a 120 volt power point back here. Does not have like fifth wheel or anything like that. So another nice thing is like, if you get up here and you need to load long items, but you can't actually reach it, you can actually, the button here, that'll actually drop that tailgate down a little bit. That way you can actually reach a little bit further in. Or what you can do even better, you can pop this down and you have a step. Your handle is here locks into place and there you go i actually think it's a better tailgate step than what ford offers to lower it is you click this little lever here it unlocks the lever here and it locks back in place 
you'll lift your little um, tailgate part here, and then you're just gonna lower it up. Just like that. All right. Let's take a look inside the front trunk. You could open it up by pressing this button here on the driver's side instrument panel, top button there. Or you could just double press the button on the key fob on the bottom. Now it is a power opening and closing up here. So this is actually really nice because of the clever packaging to the EV powertrain components. You actually are able to have a full front trunk. This right here actually holds your um, glass panels for your roof. But as you can see, and this is your um, charging uh, stuff here. And here it is illuminated. You also have an escape uh, button here if you get locked in your Hummer. Uh, 12 volt power point. You've also got some tie down hooks in the front here at the back wall, I guess. And then you have some tie down hooks up here at the front wall. Because there's no engine, in lieu of the engine, you just have a nice front cargo area. You've also got access to your washer fluid reservoir right there. And then over here, you have emergency access for air conditioner and uh, fire emergency crew stuff. And of course, closing it, you just press and hold or you press this button twice again. All right, there we go. That is very detailed video and a very long video covering the 2023 Hummer EV pickup truck. We hope you found the review informative, and if you did, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhood car reviews and our Instagram channel at brinsoj1. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.